I'm Jim with Stuff Music, and I'm here today to do a demo of the Third Power Wooly Coats Extra Spanky 6VEL. The Third Power Wooly Coats Extra Spanky 6VEL, the newest addition to the Third Power family of guitar amplifiers, is the ultimate American grab and go combo. Available in a wide variety of variants, it's a high headroom tone machine designed to play well with any type of guitar and pickup combination and serve as an ideal pedal platform. Available in either a 112 combo or head-only configuration, the Extra Spanky 6VEL features a complement of either two 6L6 power tubes at 30 watts or two 6V6 power tubes at 20 watts, and in the preamp section, two JJ ECC83S and two Sobtech 12AX7 LPS tubes. You can even swap in EL34s or 5881s in the power section for additional tonal variety. The 112 combo we're demoing here today features an Eminence GASC64 Alessandro speaker at 8 ohms. On the front panel, from left to right, you'll find the power indicator lamp, power on off switch, standby switch, hybrid master control, high frequency dampening control, reverb control, plus a mini toggle to switch between either dark jazz or ambient wash modes, then a three band EQ with bass, which has a mini toggle deep switch, a mid control with mini toggle for shift, treble control with mini toggle for bright, volume control, then finally the quarter inch instrument input. On the back panel, from left to right, you'll see the reverb send and returns, two buffered FX send and return, speaker output for either single eight or dual four ohm loads, power tube bias adjustment jacks, mains input, and the fuse. Finally, the third power Wooly Coats Extra Spanky 6VEL weighs in at 20 pounds for the head and 31 pounds for the combo. Get yours today at instuffmusic.com and thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit like, leave a comment, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Okay, now we're back after the specs on the amp. Uh, before we begin, a quick note about how we're recording. Going through that ribbon mic right there, right into Pro Tools, no sweetening, straight up. Uh, I'm gonna be using this uh, Custom Shop 59 335 and this Custom Shop 56 Strat for all of our sounds today. Everything you heard at the top of the video, all those guitars, all the overdubs, that straight up. Not the bass. Except for the bass. The bass was, um, we, we close mic'd it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, this. Amazing new amplifier from Third Power, uh, one of my favorite amp companies in all the USA. The Wooly Coats Extra Spanky 6VEL. 30 watts as it's coming right now. Um, you can get it with 6V6s for 20 watts. All that stuff I talked about. We'll go through all the controls, all the amazing sounds. Uh, this is a great high headroom, clean, pristine, you know, great pedal platform. Um, let's just get right into it. Uh, how I have the amp set now, uh, as you can see, kind of the volume at noon. Now the Hybrid Master, if you're familiar with third power amps, this is your normal volume control, right? So you can get your tone where you like it, and then you can bring in your Hybrid Master and bring the volume down to be room appropriate. So this thing's right next to my face. Uh, if you take the Hybrid Master out. It hurts. It's cranking. But this is great because you can uh, function in the 21st century uh, at any volume with this, uh, with this style of amp, but it doesn't clip the tone. Uh, so let's begin. Let's just hear some clean sounds, single coil. Here's the Strat in the neck. The guitar is noisy. Thank you. 
Let's get into some of these controls and talk about them a little more in depth. Let's start with the high frequency dampening. So if you have it all the way off, it's not doing anything. Those are like your high frequencies, all that chimey, airy, bell-like stuff. Totally out. So as I bring that in, It just sweetens up that high end. Take it all the way to the max. That is an amazing feature to have, you know, especially if you're using a really bright guitar, like this guy with a maple neck. Um, so you can introduce the bright switch. And get that extra clarity, but then kind of roll off the, maybe that high edge a little with your higher frequency dampening. Reverb, there are two types. Uh, in the down position, dark jazz, up position, ambient wash. So in the down position, that to me is kind of like a standard, beautiful tube reverb. Really nice sweep, not too obtrusive, ducks really well. I bring that up to noon. Now, when we go to ambient, let's hear the same setting straight at noon. So it's a bigger wash here reverb, it's a maybe a little brighter. Still, it's, the tone is still clear, it don't, doesn't wash it out. Let's take it to a pretty extreme setting and do something like this. take down for that one. Um, okay, so let's move right along. Now, as you can see, and as I mentioned in the specs, all three of our EQ controls have a switch. So these are all pretty straight ahead. The depth with the bass, gonna give you more, you know, um, beef in the low end. The shift, um, in the down position, it sounds more like mid-60s Fender thing. It just makes those mids a little more prominent, and then the bright switch for the treble is a bright switch. So, let's start with them all down, do a couple chanks, and um, hear what everything sounds like. Okay, so, in the down position, all my controls.
space. Off again real quick. So you can hear that heftier low end again if you have a thinner sounding guitar. Maybe not something I'd use for humbuckers, but maybe for a guitar like this or a telly that needs a little help, it could be really nice. Uh, mid, straight up. Shift. And that's cool. I mean, it's not as scoopy as you'd expect from like a mid 60s Fender thing. Um, you know, whether you like that or you're not. Um, especially for overdrive tones and to help you cut and sit in the mix well. That's a really nice feature to have. Uh, okay, let's go back to normal. Let's hear the bright switch. So this is bright switch off. Bright switch in. So it's brighter. I, I would describe it as clearer, right? But even sitting like right next to this amp, it doesn't make it strident at all. It's, it's still very musical and pleasing because I have this control right here. So with all this versatility, this amp plays well with anything you put in front of it. It's a, you know, it's a ideally a great pedal platform and it, you can dial in for singles, you can dial in for humbuckers. This just gives you the versatility that a lot of amplifiers like this don't, right? So if you don't have a lot of this kind of control and the amp's boomy, you know, you might end up having to take your bass way out and you just can't find the sweet spot, but really you can't get a bad sound out of this. Um, and you can really, really dial it in. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna push this thing out with some humbuckers. Okay, now we're back with 335. Let's hear some overdrive sounds. I'm gonna use uh, real quick, just a, uh, it's a JHS Bonsai, but I have a T TS9 setting. Pretty clean. Great string separation and clarity. Let's hear an old Zen Drive 1 and the bridge. Okay, I have uh, Keeley Caverns in the loop. Kick on a little delay. Super transparent loop in this amp. And one cool thing you can do is go straight into the power section. But before we do that, let's try to gain out the amp itself. I'm gonna engage everything. Crank it up a little here. And it almost kind of compresses down like an AC style amp, but it's cool. Okay, last thing. I'm going straight into the power section with my pedal board. No muss, no fuss. I even pulled that out so you could see. All right, here's clean tone. Drive. So 
So you can even use it as a great power amp if you have any kind of modelers or preamps you have on your board. Straight in, pure unadulterated tone. That's what that is. That's a great amp, man. It, it is sounds a, so good in the room. It is a great amp. I'm gonna have to get one myself. All right, there you have it. The third power, Wooly Coats, extra spanky, 6VEL. <laughs> Mistakes are free.